hello developers welcome back today in this video we will look into new blade component feature in the laravel 7 and this is the my most favorite new feature in the laravel 7 if you have worked with the Vue.js components then you will feel at home you will find out that there are lots of similarity in the Vue.js component tag and in the laravel blade component tag you can define components tag in two ways first using the anonymous component tag and second using class based components tag so first let's see the anonymous components in the editor i have opened the fresh installation of laravel 7 and i have already installed the laravel ui package to generate basic layout scaffolding so in the resources views here we have auth and layouts new directory to create anonymous components tag here first i'll create components directory and in this directory i'll create example component example.blade.php and here in h1 tag i'll say example component now our anonymous component is ready so how we can use that let's say in the welcome blade and let's say right here let's remove this now to use this example component here we have a new syntax that is x followed by dash and then the component name in our case that is lowercase example and now we can close this tag and that's all here now if you go to browser and refresh here we go we get the example component right here and that is how simple it is let's see a one more example of it let's say in the login page here we have this nav bar and that is in the layouts app.blade.php right here so what i am going to do here i'll create a new component navbar.blade.php and i'm going to cut this navbar from the app layout and i'll paste that in the navbar.blade.php that's done now in the app layout here i'll say x followed by dash and then the component name that is navbar in lowercase that's all refresh and we got the same navbar and that navbar is fetched from this navbar component to make sure if this navbar is coming from this navbar blade file here i'll say navbar component now let's go to the browser refresh and here we go we get the navbar component right here how cool is that we created this navbar in the components directory and then we can use it a tag like this right now it is a self-closing tag here we can close it like this and in between that tag we can pass anything we want for example let's add some lorem text now if you go to browser go to home page nothing happened here that is because we added the some text in between this example tag but in the example component right here we have to specify where this text should be appeared how we can do that let's say here we have a div tag and in this div tag i will say dollar slot and now this lorem text will appear right here let's go to browser and refresh and here we go this lorem text is right here let's see one more example of it first let's close all of these and in the auth login.blade file here you can see this login blade file is using app layout this one layouts app.blade.php so what i am going to do i will change this app layout into the anonymous component let's see so what here i will do if we scroll right here we have yield the content i will remove this and here i'll say dollar slot so next what we'll do here i will remove this and this also and then here i'll add a new tag x app we have added this new tag for this layout but it will not work let's see let's go to the login page here is unable to locate component app that is because this app layout is in the views layouts directory so what we have to do we have to move this app blade layout from layouts to this 
components directory now this layout in the components directory let's go to the browser refresh and it is working now now this app layout is working as anonymous component how cool is that we have a nice app tag for this app layout and it looks very nice now in this directory to organize this layout here in this components directory i'll create a new directory layouts and in this layouts directory i will move this app layout now this app layout is in the components layouts directory so here this tag will not work let's see refresh and here it did not work so to fix this what we can do so here i'll say layouts the directory name in the components directory and then dot app let's go to browser refresh now it is working similarly we can also move this navbar in the layout directory and now in the app dot layout here we have called the navbar here we have to say layouts dot navbar let's go to browser refresh and it is working this is the default slot it means anything we put in this tag it will inject the content right here in this slot but in some cases we may need to render multiple slot in different locations for example right here we want to change the title according to the page for example for the login page here title should be the login and for register page the title should be register and so on so for that we need to pass this title dynamically from here and we can implement it using the named slot so for that here i'll add a new tag x followed by dash and then slot next we pass the attribute name name of the slot that is title now here we can pass the title that is login now in the app late file this layout is available as a title variable so here we can remove this and we'll say dollar title like this now if you go to browser refresh right here you can see it has changed the title of the page login and in the editor let's comment this and go to browser refresh we will get error undefined variable title so here what we can do here we will provide the default title that is now refresh here we go it is fixed now or even better here i'll add meta because generally we need to add different meta tags for different pages dynamically for example we may need to add title then we will need meta description login page like this and here we will say if is a set dollar meta then here we will print dollar meta else we will print this tag now let's go to browser refresh here we have login page with the source code and here it is the title and meta description so for the name slot we will use the x slot tag and give its name and in this tag we will add anything we want and then in the component we will use this meta name as a variable to print the slot data like this sometime you may need to pass data attributes or html attributes to this tag so how we can manage that attributes for for that let's create another component alert dot blade dot php that alert component will print alert for the user so here i'll add bootstrap for alert markup dev alert dot alert info and here i'll say alert component next i will print that alert component in the app layout right here x alert let's close this and save let's go to the browser refresh and that is printed right here here i will also add div class container 
refresh now it's much better now in this component we want to print dynamic message right here and i want to get that message from the attribute right here like message some message now to access this message here in the component we will use this message attribute as a variable right here like this dollar message now we go to browser refresh and here some message text is printed and it was the simple but let's assume message content is stored in the message variable so let's say here i'll add php tag and he'll say message is equal to alert text and now we will pass that message right here now what will happen let's go to browser refresh and it has printed the variable as it is we did not get this text so let's do this like this and it will also not work let's go to the browser refresh and it has printed the php tag so how we can fix this so for that here we will pass this message like this and and here we will use colon now it will resolve this variable and that will be available in the right here now let's go to browser refresh and this time we get the alert text sometimes you may want to add some html attributes such as class so let's say let's say font weight bold and we want that attribute right here and that class is available right here in this component in the attributes variable let's see so here i'll dump dollar attributes let's go to the browser refresh now here you can see it has the class attribute and this message attribute also this one we will see this message in a moment first let's see this class attribute so right here in the component what we will do we will print that attributes like this right here and if you go to browser refresh it has not worked that is because if we open the source code and search for the this text it has printed this message attribute and the class attribute which we have passed right here but it has also this class container that is this one that is why this font bold class is not applied right here so how we can solve this problem so here what we will do here we'll say merge and here we pass the array and in this array we will pass class attribute and here we pass this container like this and now we can remove it from here now if we go to browser refresh and this time now it has merged the container class with the class attribute we have passed right here now here we refresh now this text is bold but here you will see that this message attribute is also printed right here and we don't want that that is because this is a data attribute and that is used right here so how we can fix that for that laravel has also provided us props so here we will say add props and then parentheses and here we pass the array and that has message here we are specifying that this message is the data property and it should not be in the attributes variable and we can print this message as a variable right here now if you go to browser here you can see this message attribute is available right here as we refresh it is removed from here and that variable is printed here refresh and here it is working similar like this message we also need to pass the alert type and that is also coming from the variable type let's say type is success and now we want to pass that right here so we will bind this 
and now this type is available as a variable right here so here we can print it like this now go to browser refresh and we get the error so now if we comment this props refresh now it is working so here you can see if we have used the prop right here so every data property should be defined in this prop like this type now this time refresh and it will work if we remove this refresh we got undefined error because we have used this type here so here we can also define the default value info now let's go to browser refresh and it worked define the type refresh we got success let's pass the warning refresh and here we get the warning alert how cool is that next we will see the class based components so for that let's say we have some post and we want to display some post as a widget right here so for that let's create post model and generate some dummy post so in the terminal let's stop this artisan serve command and here i'll say php artisan make model post and create migration and factory for this post model now it's done here we have post model and in the database migrations here is the post migration and here i'll add table string title next here i'll add table for an id that is user underscore id now in the factories post factory here i'll add user id is equal to factory user class and create and then we pass the id and in the title here we will pass dollar faker sentence next we will create some dummy post so in the terminal php artisan tinker factory app post and then create here i'll pass let's say user id is one and i will also create 10 post for this user so we forgot to run migration so exit php artisan migrate next php artisan tinker and let's create the post now we have 10 posts run php artisan sub again next in the editor and let's close this now we have some posts now we will create class based user post component and we will print that right here so in the terminal here i'll say php artisan make component and then component name and it is user post and component is created and it has created two files for us first in the in the app directory we have brand new directory view and in this directory we have components directory and here we have user post component it is a basic class with the constructor and render method and that render method returns the view components user post and we can see that in the components user post and here we can add any markup we want for this user post component for now let's add user post in the app layout here we will say x and right now our component is user post so here we will use lowercase user and then hyphen post tag like this now in the terminal php artisan serve in the browser refresh 
and here it has printed the user posts in the user post i'll add class container refresh and now it's better here this user post is acting as a controller for the components now here in this component we will fetch the posts for the user and we will pass that post in this view so here we can say dollar posts is equal to post get and we can pass that post right here like this or even better we can create a public method posts and then here we will return this post and now we can remove this and here we can pass dollar this posts next in the components here we will print all posts so in the we will tag for each dollar posts as dollar post and in the li tag here i'll print dollar post title let's go to browser refresh and here is the all post now you can see in the user post component we have passed the post like this but in the components we don't need this all the public properties and functions are available as a variable in this blade file go to browser refresh it will work exactly the same because this post is a function right here so we can also pass any parameters to it for example let's say we want to fetch five posts so here i pass five in this post and then in this method we will accept it as a limit and then here we will pass limit and here we get five post instead of passing limit right here i want to pass it from this tag so here i'll say limit is equal to 5 and and from here i will remove this next in the user post we no longer need this so now this limit should be passed to this user post component and that we can access from the constructor and so here we'll say limit and we will create a public property dollar limit this limit is accessed right here let's dump this and see what's inside this and here it we get this string 5 next we will say dollar this limit is equal to dollar limit right here we will say dollar this limit refresh and here we get the five post now let's say limit is the 2 now we will get two post now right here i also want to specify the user id to fetch the post for specific user so here i'll say user hyphen id is equal to and here i will pass user id 1 because right now we have post for only user id 1 here you can see we have specified the attribute user hyphen id so how we can get this right here we can get this user id in this class right here in the constructor in camel case so here i'll say user and then id in camel case like this user id next here i'll say this user id is equal to dollar user id next here i'll specify public property dollar user id and now here we can say fetch the posts where user id is dollar this user id let's move to the next line the browser refresh 
and here it has fetched for the user where user id 1 if we change the user id 2 it will not fetch post for that because we don't have post for user id 2 and it is blank so now let's create some post for the user id 2 so php artisan tinker and here we will create post for user id 2 now it has created 10 posts for user id 2 and here we have passed the user id 2 now refresh we forgot to run php artisan serve so php artisan serve refresh now here is the post for user id 2 here we can pass model as well and we have to resolve that model like this let's see an example so here i will fetch a user app user find user id 1 and then i will pass that user right here go to the user post class and here i'll change this user id as user here i'll dump this user variable and see what in this variable refresh and here it has printed the dollar user as a string so to resolve this here we need to pass colon refresh and now we have user model next right here we can say dollar this user id refresh here is the post for that user next we will see the inline component view so in the terminal php artisan make component and let's say component name is inline example and then here i'll pass option inline in the app view components directory it has created the inline example component it works exactly the same but in the render method instead of view it returns the markup directly from here let's print this right here in the app layout here x inline example refresh Don't forget to run arts and serve and here it is printed from the inline view it works exactly the same this one for example let's add the slot option from inline component and right here we will add slot refresh and that is printed from the inline component if you have very small component and don't want to manage two files one for the components and one for the view in that case this inline component is useful because you don't have to manage two files this is all in this new components tag feature i hope you like this tutorial thanks for watching if you like the video hit the like button share this video and don't forget to subscribe us see you in the next lesson mm -hmm.